I will show you how to take a quick concept plan sketch like this and produce amazing detailed 3D rendered plans. We have seen recently a lot of perspective sketches to renders or object to realistic renders. However, the ability to take an architect's simple sketch and generate illustrated floor plans has great potential. By stating typology, furniture, styles, and room types, additional ideas and moods can be generated. Particularly since the skill and insight of a designer can be used as the base input, this workflow can be guided more easily. As this technology also improves, greater control of the plan details can be incorporated and potentially even more rationalized design layouts, not just conceptual images can be generated. This is done on a new AI cloud platform called LookX AI, which is described as the next generation AI platform for designers. How this is different from other image generators is that it is trained and designed to be used for architecture and design. The platform is built on Archinet, a high quality structured database focusing on the architectural field. This provides more accurate results relating to architectural designs. Our platforms are being built to suit all industries across the globe, so that it was only a matter of time for an architecture-focused cloud platform to be released. Currently, LookX has 10 free image generators per day, or a 7-day free trial, which I'm currently using here, so be sure to try it out. Anyone with no coding knowledge can create inspirational drawings using text prompts, sketches, or 3D geometry screenshots. Although for this video, I'll be focusing on creating the 3D plans. Here in the Creation Plaza, you can see examples already. I can quickly click and generate similar ones if you like, or just see the prompts being used. Otherwise, click on the Start Creations button, and then there are two modes available. Render mode for architectural rendering, and Explore mode for flexible customization, which I will now go through. We can start by selecting the main base model. You can see there is a standard, official stable diffusion version 1.5 model, and then a few custom train models created by LookX. Feel free to play around, but I will select the realism enhanced version here. Next, on top of this, you need to add your lower models. Lower models are small, stable diffusion models that apply smaller changes to the standard checkpoint models. In other words, there are small train models created for a specific output, such as the ones here, created to make rendered plans in our case. So for this, you can easily train your own small custom models or try out ones made by other people. For example here, you can see there is a color floor plan style here, which I will use. For now, a strain fold 0.5 is a good starting point for this model. This essentially indicates how much this model will influence your image. Next, you add in your prompt description here. So I would start with a floor plan layout of, and then write a description of the contents and the space, such as the rooms you want to include, the styles or the furniture. Be sure to add the word LookX, which is the prompt word for using the floor plan model above that I showed. Then, Importantly, drag and drop your sketch plan here. So at the moment, a simple sketch plan with just lines, which have like thick and thinner ones work best. Don't add in too many details such as furniture or windows as at this point, it doesn't interpret them very well. So I would recommend not using too large drawings or too complicated ones. Simple lines with no details are also good, and line thicknesses do actually work well. As the AI models develop, I'm sure you can add in more details and it will be interpreted better in the future. But for now, keep it simple and conceptual. I mean, it's the typical iterative approach of changing the parts 
and value sliders for the model. The model works better with apartment layouts than offices or libraries, for example, as it seems that this lower model has been trained on apartment plans. You can, of course, train your own models for office plans or other spaces, which I'll show you how to do at the end of the video. As you can see from the generations here, the layouts are not accurate in relation to them being practically used for GA plans. Where the rooms of furniture are placed is purely based on the original plans used to train the model. However, this is a great starting point to generate mood boards, ideas, and quickly test out conceptual plan layouts. The strength in these image generations are that the sensor space, materials, lighting, and atmosphere are generated here, which cannot be easily read from just a simple line drawing. You can see here I'm using some unconventional plan sketches, such as organic forms in the first plan, and then later some modular squares and even a circular space. It is quite impressive to see how the AI adapts the furniture to these forms and how the materials change between the rooms. You can view all your generated plans in the gallery. And if you select the one you like, you get an enlarged view of it. And up in the top right, there is a download button. There are four option types to download at various scales at different credit costs. The best one is the times two scale with optimizer which tries to fix generation errors. This takes about a minute to process, and then you have a downloaded high-res quality 3D plan. I will now also show you how to train your own models to create custom labels or styles. Here, press this Train Models button and click New Training. You can see the description says add between 15 and 50 images at one to one scale. So here, for example, I've dropped in 20 3D plan images of apartments. I recommend to have a better data set than this with images of a similar character, perspective, and closer to the style that you would like to train on. Then add a model name and select a base model, as this training is actually only appended to this main model. The image type here will be a floor plan and the training is a style type. Finally, trigger word is the word you need to add to your prompt for this model to take effect. This can be any word, although a less common combination of letters or numbers are better. Then you can simply click train. And once this is done, you can load this as a lower model as shown previously. So then you could do this for any type of style you want, or like train it on offices or libraries, for example. And you can play around with the various effects. This is, of course, another iterative process to improve the models. And as you practice, you learn what works better and what doesn't. You will notice that the generations are purely visual and do not propose intelligently thought out layouts. Although I'm sure at some point in the future, this feature will be brought in. By combining these image generators with more advanced layout apps, for example, Arkit AI, Pinch 3D, or SpaceMaker AI, you can see the potential to generate both effective layouts and amazing visual spaces. With this said, the model currently used does a good job at placing furniture, and even the textures and colors look great at creating a mood board. Overall, I'm impressed by what can be produced by a few black lines. Actually, I recommend you experiment with training your own model to get even better results. This all has great potential to combine the experience of the architect with the high quality rendering capabilities of AI. I'll keep you updated with what is happening and look forward to seeing what 3D plans you can generate yourself.